Hi, I'm Sean from Star Labs. I'm here today to do an overview video of the Starfighter. So this is the Starfighter, which is running Core Boot, which is open source firmware. It's a big topic, so we'll go into it on another day. Um, but the main advantages of Core Boot, aside from the licensing, is that it's incredibly quick. So running on this Starfighter, the firmware is finishing booting in less than a second. So this one which is the Ultra 5 variant is booting in 0.968 seconds, which is incredibly quick. It also gives you a lot of customizability. Um, we've got a long list of things to add in, of, of things to change, um, which just crop up after people ask for things or we want to add them. Um, but there's all sorts of options from maximum charge level to how fast it charges, whether we want the fan to be off or aggressive. Um, power modes, uh, whether you want it to use as much power as you want um, or to last as long on battery. Um, and there's a load of power saving features as well um, in there. Um, and it all can be configured as you want. There's also secure boot support if that's what you want to do. So around the left side, you've got two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports on the Intel variant. On the AMD variant, they're USB 4, just as Thunderbolt is an Intel uh, technology. Um, so these can be used for connecting to displays, for charging, for data, um, for external GPUs, um, pretty much anything that will fit into it will work. Um, you've also got an HDMI 2.1 port, so that's 4K at 60 frames a second. And then you've also got a USB 3 port, um, classic USB-A, which will run at 10 gig a second. Around the other side, you have two more USB-A ports. You've got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary um, connector, which can be used for um, headphones and microphone input. Um, I'll skip that for the second. You've got the wireless kill switch. So that is connected to both the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. When it's red, they are both enabled. And if you toggle it, the operating system reports airplane mode and they are both completely off. And then you've got a micro SD card reader um, here is where we store the webcam so uh, this little module has the webcam itself in it and the microphones so if you don't want anyone to technically be able to see you or hear you all you do is disconnect that um, pop that in there and then store it inside the chassis until you need it next um, moving around to the um, main part of the chassis you've got uh, stereo speakers in here they are box speakers they've got two speakers inside each box they have 3.75 watt output um, so they're definitely above average for laptops um, there's a configurable eq in there as well um, the uh, keyboard is very similar to our standard keyboard but it's got slightly more travels um, so ours are usually 1.4 millimeters um, and the Starfighter has 1.5 millimeters so that's closer to sort of a, a lenovo style feel um, and it's backlit as well and has um, a bunch of hotkeys for configuring various things. Um, and then moving on to the main point, which is the solid state trackpad. That's most commonly um, used. Uh, people are familiar with, with Apple's implementation. The difference is most normal trackpads just have buttons underneath, which you're just simply clicking. Solid state trackpads don't move at all. Um, they have motors underneath the simulator clicks. You can click anywhere on the trackpad and it will always feel the same. Um, and the gestures are very smooth because you can click at any point in them. Um, and then moving to around that, the Starfighter is made from a magnesium alloy called AZ91D, um, which is essentially very strong for its weight, which allows this Starfighter to be very similar in weight to our Starbook, which is two inches smaller. Um, and then moving up to here, there's a few options of screens. Um, there's a 4K version and a QHD version. Uh, the QHD version is slightly less bright, 500 uh, CDM2, and the 4K display is 625 CDM2. Um, so the displays are very above um, average um, comparing to all other laptops. Um, and that's most of it. Uh, and that was the Starfighter. We'll do some follow-up videos shortly about firmware and tweaking customization. But for now, thank you.